Hello everyone, how are we all doing? After what seems like forever, we are back and raring to go for another season of cricket. And with all the rain in the run up to the season, the boys haven't even had a chance to train outside. The ground at Bridges is still so wet that this was originally meant to be a home tie for us, but Gravesend kindly offered to host in order to get the game on. So it's a National Cup match today, Red Bull and Whites, but a 40 over limited overs match. Joe started well on his return from Oz and won the toss for us, opting to bowl first today. And as ever, Connor Golding takes the first. In picture now, a couple of our new signings, but more of them later. From the other end, we've got the apprentice, left armour, Aaron Brown. Umpire's finger straight up, and that's the first of the season. Brownie drawing the batsman over and trapping him in front of all three. <laughs> and now two and two. The batsman caught in two minds whether to play or not and failing to do either. Aaron on a hat trick in the season opener. Not on this occasion, but what a start from Aaron. Number three for Aaron, another LBW, and the hosts are 20 for three in the eighth. Three balls later, and it's four for Brownie, the batsman chopping on this time. And Connor gets in on the act two. Those stumps shining brighter than Joe's replacement teeth. <laughs> now two in two for Connor and his turn to try and grab a hat trick. Gravesend now 21 for six. Despite the interesting first ball charge, Con quite can't sneak through. Oh. 
And there it is. There's five for Aaron. What a player. Bowling change in the introduction of Mr. Blanford, replacing Connor from the far end. Things going from bad to worse for the hosts, now with a run out. Connor's put that right over the stumps for Joe and he's watched it all the way into the gloves this time to leave the batsman short. Ollie not hanging up his boots just yet. That one jagging back and another LBW decision for the Bridges boys. And of course it's Aaron to wrap things up and grab the final wicket. Old trying his best to make a meal of it in the deep. So what a start from the bowling unit, but especially this man, Aaron Brown, six wickets for 17 runs in his first outdoor bowl this year. So 44 needed to win and a very quick turnaround between the innings. Sees James Russell and Sam Cooper opening things up for us. Lovely tickle off the legs from Russ. Skipper always confident that was going to reach the fence. So an early change in the bowling from Gravesend. A score 17 for naught from the first four. After a few sighters, Russ sends that all the way for the first maximum of the season. And not to be outdone, Sammy Cooper joins the fun and plays his trademark flick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. D. Again. 
Three balls later, though, he's gone trying to send that one back to Sussex. So Coop's the first man out, and now we see the introduction of Thorn Parks, the club's new overseas from Otago, New Zealand. And the last ball of the over, Ross pats that one back to end his innings today. And with just 12 to win, Connor strolls out to join Thorne at the middle. And that deserves another look. Couple of steps down and six over cover. Oh, yeah, well done. Oh. Yeah, that's what that bloke was trying to do to me, but he just yeah. tossed it. That too brings up the win. Not much time for any formal intros today. A bit of a highlights reel this match, I'm sorry. Next time out, I can give the new players the intros they deserve and chat about the ins and outs, as well as a few rumours. A winning start to the season and through to the next round of the National Cup, where we face the holders, another Kent side, Bexley. But next week, we've got East Grinstead in the league opener. The boys headed over the road to the bat and ball for a couple of well-deserved drinks, followed by a few more and then decided to give us this insight. Hey, look, I thought the day went really well. You know, Seamus went so good up top. Brown, he was six foot, and obviously Colin two foot. Um, and then, you know, Conan Thorne finished off at the end. Oli, 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 Oli. I didn't taste the ball, by the way. Thorne, how is your... Cut it, cut it, cut it.